Hello guys, welcome back once again. Right now I'm at Friedrichstrasse station in Berlin, heading to Cottbus Hauptbahnhof. The journey from Berlin to Cottbus is just about 1 hour 20 minutes exactly. I just bought a ticket for 15 euro one way. Well, Friedrichstrasse is also the station. This is where when you head outside, this is where parliament is. This is where a lot of political buildings are in Berlin. I have a friend, she's waiting outside, she's going to be giving us the campus too. I think this is a train again going back to Berlin and further from there on. So officially we have reached here. This is where you come out of Hobbanov station and right opposite to Hobbanov station you'll find tram stops, both of them. But before that I have my friend Sim. Why don't you Hello. go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm Sim. I'm from Delhi. I study here in Brandenburg Technical University in a master's program in environmental and resource management. Right. And uh, what was your bachelor's? Uh, give us a bit of okay. academic background. Uh, so for my bachelor's, I did botany honors from Mirana House University of Delhi. Mm -hmm. And then I pursued, should I say master's also? Yeah, yeah of course. Okay. So then I pursued my first master's from Forest Research Institute in Uttarakhand, Dehradun. Mm -hmm. And then I applied here because it matches my interest. And I had some contacts with professors and they were interested in my research proposals. Okay. Cool. And uh, the procedure to apply in this university, was it via UniAssist or direct? Uh, it is via UniAssist. Okay. Uh, all the documentation, all the information, you can get it from there. Okay. It's a simple procedure. So basic requirements is IELTS mainly. Yeah. And so, yeah. And this is your second master's now? This is my second master's. How much did you score in bachelor's, you said? I scored around 85% in my bachelor's. And then the first master's? I scored around 90%. Chalo bhai. <laughs> oh my god, yaar. One second, before I start talking about studies, let me show the place around. We are just waiting for the tram to come. Meanwhile, I uh, just wanted to show you, this is where the train station is. And this is where tram stop is and right opposite to the train station uh, there's this Radisson Hotel. I've been staying in Berlin for such a long time but I never got a chance to come here and visit this university. Relatively it's a very small town very close to Polish borders so most stations also here uh, they're written in German but also written in Polish language. Uh, I mean not here in the city center but through the railway stations when you go around it takes about 15 minutes for us to reach there to the city uh, sorry to the university, yeah? university. what uh, tram number are we supposed to take we can take either two or four tram number or we can take 16 number bus okay towards where towards the university it, that's a lot directly stop? at the university tu menza it's called oh that's a stop name yes tu menza, menza. technical okay. university menza okay How many campuses are there in uh, so for uh, BTU? I think uh, there are two campuses. One is in Cottbus, that is where we are. This is the main campus, mm -hmm. and the second one is in Zentenburg. Mm -hmm. It's around 30 to 40, and sometimes it takes one hour to reach there. This is the place where you need to come before even you land up in your home or anywhere in Cottbus. The enrollment process takes place here, right? Enrollment process, they might help you with other things if you are facing once you are in here for the first time. Mm. They will give you, appoint you volunteers, maybe okay. in your own language also. They have a program called BTU Buddies. Mm -hmm. So you can get any information from them. Got it. So, as you heard, this is the 
you arrive here on the first day go in this building this is where they will register you as a student this is the way we came in from this is the cafeteria mensa what we showed you this is the main building right adjacent to the cafeteria you see this big square what what buildings are here is it all classroom what is it uh, it's not uh, this building is for auditorium kind of stuff okay so you'll have large classes maybe guest lecturers in here uh -huh. they have a higher capacity hmm. to accommodate this building is theater that this okay one, yeah so this one this one yeah okay so when we come here we have welcome sessions there all the introduction sessions then we have a movie night okay especially for international students so this is for that stuff okay. so this is the main road for btu campus so you are now officially entering the campus don't be surprised that there's no one on the campus because it's weekend and i forced her to come today only <laughs> so, so yeah so this is lga and lgb mm -hmm. there you'll find contact information for many professors who teach you so you can get an appointment and meet them in your offices okay so this is the professors uh, building uh yes uh not all depends on your modules sure so they have german mostly german faculty here for german courses okay for international we'll go ahead okay Which are the English taught programs here in uh, BTU? So most popular one is the Environment and uh, Resource Management. It is offered in all three programs: BSc, MSc, and PhD. Okay. And then they have Cyber Security in Master's program. Then they have Urban Planning and Design in Master's program. And they have a World Heritage program. Also. lot of students may be curious just to know what is the cost of living here in cottbus yeah so cost of living in cottbus is pretty cheap as compared to other states in germany mm -hmm. so for you can get it as low as 180 to you which can, includes everything which includes food everything. accommodation not insurance food. not food yeah only for wohnheim wohnheim i mean uh, accommodation okay uh, yeah so accommodation as cheap as 180, 180 and maximum a good luxurious around 350 okay and uh the cost if you do some luxury stuff some basic stuff you can get it around i think maximum of a 500 or 550 that is a max includes everything includes everything your travel your food your luxury stuff some activities playing right. sports what is this building so it's the same it's another building for faculty members uh -huh. so uh you can approach them you can find many English taught faculty members here. Okay. So anyway, the official procedure is to get an appointment and then go there. So we just took a whole round inside this campus area. There's like a whole complex inside, and uh, that's where we got off. That's where the bus stop is, and this is where student and web office is. Right here, that's where the entrance is. Right now, it's locked. This is where you come for accommodation. Yeah, you come here for signing the contract and stuff for collection of keys. But okay. the main office is in Frankfurt Oder. Frankfurt Oder. lots of buildings inside classrooms everything is locked otherwise we would have shown you but uh, what it looks like is they have lot of modern uh, buildings here like it's not like a old heritage castle no bt was a modern university yeah and all these things are being contributed by worked upon by students also because they have a very popular module known as urban design okay so that's why uh, with respect to part time job Are there enough opportunities here? There are enough opportunities if you know good German. That is only for Cottbus area. If you have a B2 or C1 level, 
then you can easily get a job in Cottbus. But mm -hmm. if you don't have, you can always travel to Berlin and Dresden for parting. What building is that? Uh, so this is the famous library of BTU. Alright, so after showing all that university campus thing, to have your city registration done, um, you need to come to this uh, office which is at Karl Marx Strasse 67. Uh, if you want to know, the bus stop is uh, Berliner Strasse. And this is also the office where they extend your visas here in uh, Cottbus. You don't have to go to Berlin to get that done. Just for everyone who is new to this topic, if you are flying for the first time, you will only be given entry visa, which could be for three months or possibly for six months. And then you come here and this is the office where you're supposed to get the extension done. This is the main square of the city. As you can see, there is a start hall. This is where Sim told that there is a what film festival happens here. Yeah. And uh, there is this mall called as what? Spray Gallery. And uh, yeah, there is tram services here. 